Hi everyone, in this video together we will perform the salt bridge analysis of a trajectory using VMD. So before we go to VMD, so let's have some information or let's refresh our mind about the salt bridge. Actually, the salt bridge is one of the most important interactions in proteins that contributes dramatically to the protein stability because it combines two important features or interactions. Electrostatic interactions, which, which is a non-covalent interactions, and it happens between the anions and cations, and hydrogen bonding, which happens between a hydrogen or an oxygen or a nitrogen or another amino acid. So we have an interaction between the acidic and basic amino acids. And since we have a hydrogen bond here, total bridges are known to be very important for the stability of the protein and it plays an important role in the substrate binding or the binding of protein subunits or the binding between the secondary structure to get your nice 3D globular shape of protein. So uh, to sum up again, total bridges combine two important features or interactions and uncovalent inter electrostatic interactions. It's somehow weak but also it, 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 it it contributes to the stability of protein, and here the strongest uh, covalent interaction, which is the hydrogen bonding between a hydrogen of a positive uh, amino acid and an oxygen or a nitrogen of a negative amino acid. As you see here in example from Wikipedia, we have glutamic acid and lysine and the two uh, interactions in, in the salt bridge. So let's go to VMD. It's a quite simple. If we go here, I have a trajectory. Let's open it quickly. And it's getting my trajectory. Sorry. Here we are. I have two VMD open, so I should close one. Again. Yes. So I'm getting my trajectory. And we will also need to get our PSF file for our trajectory. Here's it. And I say load. And I have my trajectory here. And as we know that we can perform it in a graphical user interface of VMDN, which is the easiest part. Or we can perform it in the scripting user interface. But this time we will perform it using the graphical user interface. So Let's go to extensions, analysis, and here we have a salt bridge. And it's quite simple. The molecule that we have is our uh, trajectory. The selection, I will choose protein. You can choose a specific region of your proteins. And I will calculate all the salt bridges in all the frames. So I have 5,000 frames here. And here, it says update selections every frame, and this will be needed in a future in a future analysis. In in our case, we don't need it because our selection is the same. So even if we don't take it, it will not change anything. And VMD by default uh, calculate the salt bridges within the default value, the cutoff value, which is three point two angstrom. So any interaction between a positive or basic and acidic residues within this cutoff distance will be calculated. And here you will write a file with the distance for each salt bridge. And here the directory where my output will be saved and state you are ready. So let's tell VMD to find the salt bridges. Now it's searching for ion pairs with oxygen nitrogen distance within 3.2 to angstrom in the selected frames. By the way, you can change the, the, the cutoff distance. You can increase it or decrease it according to your purpose of calculation. It will take some time, minutes. And here it said done, if you read here in the output. And here all the sort of bridges I have in my trajectory within the cutoff distance and in all frames. So let's here we have a salt bridge between these two residues. If we go to open it, you will find it from the first frame. Let's go down till the last frame. 
and here is the distance. So you will get your values and you will plot it when, with any plotting program and you will get a nice graph. And this will show you when you lost at which frame you st you had your, your, your salt pages maintained or when did you lose it. So you're going to have a distance here you see at 8 angstrom, then decreased and increased. So if you have a crucial salt pages and it was maintained at the beginning of the simulation and you lost it, so it means that there is an instability in your structure and you have to, to refer to this. That's it.